In this tutorial, we are going to talk about applying and managing materials in SimLab Composer. This is a 3D design of a room imported from SketchUp, and if you click any of the objects in the scene, you will see that default materials are applied to them. To change the material type, click on the drop-down menu in the Material Attributes panel and choose a suitable type for the object. Once you set the type of material, the related physical attributes to the type will appear in the panel. You can also add or modify the texture for the selected material. Click on the texture thumbnail to browse for a texture file. Select the image file and click open. As you can see, the white wood texture projected on the floor has changed to a brown wooden texture with the selected image file as its source. Following the same steps, you can add a bump map, which would add variation of height to the material depending on the dark and light values in the bump map. A normal map sets the angle at which certain points on the surface receive light, resulting in a variation of surface angles. Keep in mind that you can adjust the intensity of both the bump and normal map by modifying the strength multiplier in their respective attributes. You can also modify the texture's projection repetition by modifying the U and V scale. The lock icon next to the U and V scale multiplier indicates whether this attribute is shared and locked among texture, bump, and normal. Therefore, in the cases of having the locks toggled on, adjusting the multiplier for the texture will apply the modification to the bump and normal map as well. SimLab Composer offers an intensive material library where you can apply pre-existing materials with texture to the objects in the scene. Scroll down to the Fabric category and drag and drop a material from the Pattern subgroup onto one of the cushions on the bed. As you can see, both the cushions and the mattress sheet have changed. This is due to the fact that they all share the same material. When you apply a material from the library to an existing material without selecting the objects, it would simply replace the material for all the related objects. Press Ctrl and Z on your keyboard to undo, then select one of the cushions by left-clicking on it. Now drag and drop a material on the selected cushion, and notice how only the selected cushion had its material changed. From the Material menu, select Show Scene Materials. The Scene Material panel offers you several tools that allow you to manage and control materials in the scene. You can click on All to show all the materials available in the scene, or you can click on Selected Objects to show the materials assigned to the selected objects only. Right-click on the material in the Scenes Material panel and choose Select Objects Using Material. This option will select all the objects in the scene that use the cushion material. Drag and drop a material from the library to the material icon in the panel. And notice how all the attributes of the material have changed to the library's new material, but the material retained its original name. Now select a cushion and apply a material from the library to it. Then select both the cushions and click on View Materials from the selected objects in the material panel. Notice how we now have two separate materials. Now changing the material for either cushion would not affect the other. To transfer a material from one object to another, you can select the object, then right-click the new material and choose Apply. This would unify the objects under a single material.
The other approach is dragging the source material to the target material to transfer the attributes only and keeping them as separate materials. Now we have two duplicates of the material each assigned to a different set of objects. Keep in mind that you have the option to merge similar materials into each other. Click on Merge Identical Materials to merge all similar materials into one across the scene. SimLab Composer gives you the ability to store materials in the library. So in the case of creating your own unique material in the 3D scene, you can save them in the material library for later use. To do so, simply drag the material to the Material Library panel. Type in a unique name for the material and click OK. You can generate an icon for it by clicking on the Generate Material icon in the Material panel to the right. You can also create a new category in the Material Library where you can store materials in an order you prefer and not be obligated by the default categories in SimLab Composer. An additional feature SimLab Composer offers is creating material palettes. A material palette is a generated file that contains all the information regarding materials in your scene, and you can store them separately from the scene for later use. From the Material menu, select Save Material Palette. Type a name for the file and click Save. Now, for example, create a different theme for the materials in the scene by modifying some of the materials in that scene. Now, go back to the Material menu and select Retain Material Palette. Choose the previously saved file and set the retaining method to Material Names, since we did not change the materials in the scene and only modified them, and click Start Retain. As you can see, each of the stored materials were reapplied to the designated object they were previously assigned to. This method could prove very useful in creating different options for the materials in a scene, or, in case you need to store a reference materials set, apply it to your future scenes. So, for example, if you store a palette with a material named brown wood, this material will be applied to any object in the scene in the future that has the name brown wood on a material upon using the retain material option. SimLab Composer offers you great tools to modify and manage the materials in your scene with efficiency and ease. It also provides you with a huge variety of pre-designed materials that are ready to be applied to objects, taking your design to the next level when it comes to realism and beauty.